قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّهَا The one who engaged in purifying it thoroughly has already attained success. What is it in purifying it? It is the nafs that's being talked about previously when Allah says, وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا So the one engaged in purifying it and cleansing it has already in, uh, attained success. The activity of cleansing oneself, Allah calls it success. Not the one who has pure nafs. That may never happen. You, may, you and I may be engaged in the activity of trying to purify ourselves our entire lives. But we'll never get a fully pure nafs. But the one sincerely engaged in this activity, Allah calls that activity itself success. He calls that activity itself success. The word zakka or tazkiyah means to cleanse or purify. And obviously you don't clean something that's already clean. You clean something that is dirty. So the implication here is the human being realizes when Allah gave him a clear understanding and an inspiration to, rec to recognize fujuraha wa taqwaha, right? The rebellion of it and the means to protect it. The human being realizes they haven't been entirely clean their whole life. So they have to engage in the act of cleansing themselves. So this concern with self-purification, this concern of becoming a better human being, a cleaner human being, to cleanse your nafs from filth, and these filth, these are, these are baltina. In other words, they're hidden problems. Maybe your problem is anger. Maybe your problem is jealousy. Maybe your problem is lying. Maybe your problem is cheating. Maybe your problem is ghafla. You're obsessed with entertainment. Maybe it's shamelessness. You don't guard your eyes. Maybe it's your tongue. You don't, you don't hold your tongue. You just say whatever comes in your mouth. These are all means by which your nafs gets dirtier and dirtier and dirtier. And the person now, this, the one who's attained success is the one who's engaged in the act of cleansing it. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ تَزَكَّى The one who engaged in this act has already attained true success. May Allah make us of them. On the other hand, is the opposite extreme disease that Allah mentions when He says, بَلِ اللَّهُ يُزَكِّي مَنْ يَشَاءُ On one place. Rather, it is Allah who cleanses whoever He wants. So here Allah is saying, we have to cleanse ourselves. And then He says, He cleanses whoever He wants. What's the balance between these two things? The understanding we have is, none of us, none of us can actually purify ourselves. All we can do is try to purify ourselves. When we make the sincere effort of trying, who will actually grant us the purity? It is Allah Azza wa Jal. Okay, it is Allah Azza. But we have to take the first step and try. That is the way we balance these two statements. On the other hand also is the person who assumes they have already attained purity. They don't need to be purified. They are already pure. And this is a serious problem because in some, some you know, areas of the Muslim uh, community, we assume that this one person has attained purity already. So we should go to them to make dua for us or to do whatever it is, religious counsel. Not because of their knowledge, because they are pure. They are pure, like I'm not pure, but they are. Allah Azza wa says, and by the way, these people who call others to you know, ask them, that they will somehow spiritually elevate them, etc. They consider themselves pure. They consider themselves pure. Rather Allah says, لَا تُزَكُّوا أَنفُسَكُمْ do not declare yourselves pure. <laughs> he lets us know, don't declare yourselves pure. You don't, this idea of self-righteousness, or having attained a certain level of iman or whatever, out of the question for us. We assume iman for each other, but we never assume iman for who? Ourselves, subhanAllah. For anybody else, you don't say, man, this guy's got such weak iman. You don't say that, you say that he's the best iman. He has better iman than I do. But for yourself, you never ever assume that you're, you've cleansed yourself of you, you've attained certain kind of level. Allah does not give us that, that stature, subhanAllah. So he says, you know, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ تَزَكَّى By the way, who is the best of the ones who purified himself? It's the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa The ideal was already mentioned in the previous surah, وَأَنْتَ حِلٌّ بِهَذَا الْبَلَدِ the, the reference to the most pure has already been mentioned in the previous surah. When the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to recite this ayah, there are several narrations that he would make a dua. I'm going to recite to you not all of the versions, but the longest version of them. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min qalbin la yakhsha. Uh, o oh Allah, I seek your refuge from a heart that refuses to fear, that feels no fear. Wa min nafsin la tashba. And I fear, I seek your refuge from a nafs, a conscience, that is never fulfilled. Meaning it's always running after more things, it's never, qual it's never tranquil, it's never satisfied. وَمِن دَعْوَةٍ لَا يُسْتَجَابُ لَهَا And I seek your refuge from a prayer that is not going to be answered. 
meaning you're asking Allah Azza wa Jal and it won't be answered. Allahumma ati nafsi taqwaha. Oh Allah, grant my nafs, that same thing, my conscience, grant it its protection. You know, فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا And the Messenger is asking sallallahu alayhi wa grant my nafs its taqwa. Grant it this gift of wanting to protect itself. وَزَكِّهَا And cleanse it, purify it. أَنْتَ خَيْرُ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا You are the best, you are the one in the best position to cleanse it or to purify it. Now, خَيْرُ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا means you are the best, but you're not the only entity involved. Who has to engage in this activity first? We are, but you're in the best position to actually cleanse it. So Allah didn't just, the Messenger of Allah Wasallam didn't just say, you're the only one. But He said, you're the best to cleanse it. In other words, He put responsibility on our side too. أَنْتَ وَلِيُّهَا وَمَوْلَاهَا You are its guarding, gar, uh, uh, you are its protective and protecting friend. Meaning you are the friend, you are on the side of this nafs. SubhanAllah. 